Hi there and welcome to our channel. Here we talk about game dev and how we want to create our own future studio. Today's video will be about what we use in our work and basically the bare essential minimum that anyone would need to create a game. Exactly, but first let's get cozy. You need to choose a game engine first because we're talking about indie game development and obviously there are not too many choices nowadays but there is Unity, Unreal, Godot and some other like game maker you should choose one that you're more familiar with. That's the right thing for what you need right now. In our case, for 2D games, we don't need a hardcore engine like Unreal. We use Unity, which is free at the moment, and lets you create your own architectures and codes in C-sharp using Visual Studio from scratch in your own way, which is the best way to learn to create video games and coding overall, because it gives you ultimate power and freedom to create your own thing. Whereas Unreal Engine uses game modes and already existing structures and blueprints to help you create a video game, which can be useful. But we prefer Unity in our case. On my side, as being the designer of our games, I create the assets and everything that you see in our videos in Procreate. That's a really cool drawing tool for Apple and it's great for drawing and it has a really big resolution and really easy to use. A really good alternative is Fire Alpaca that works for Windows. Um, these two apps work really, really well. You can create whatever you want with them. The brushes work really well. And besides that, you can download a bunch of different brushes from the internet because wonderful artists out there have gathered the internet only for that. <laughs> Fine Dinan is done with Procreate in her art style. But if you want to see a game made with Fire Alpaca, check out Fantasy Fighters. Link is in the description and it looks just like this. These are the characters that I created using Fire Alpaca and a very basic Wacom tablet where you just to get the screen drawing it in front of you. <laughs> so to create a game, you don't need much. You just need creativity and basically a yeah. wish to create a game. <laughs> exactly. Or sound effects or any type of auditive things in your game, you can use Audacity. You can also find sounds for free on freesound.com, link in the description as well. It's a small disclaimer, we are not sponsored in any of our videos, so we're presenting these softwares as something that we have tested and we enjoy using them, although they have some of their difficulties. We recommend using them because they're really easy to learn and we can talk about all these things and if you have any tools that you really enjoy or make your life easier, Come to our Discord channel, let's connect there and talk about all these things, the processes, the games we develop and give each other feedback and connect. Another last thing that we need to mention is where you publish your indie game. You need to get a feedback, a community and all this through your game. And obviously there is Epic Game Store, there is Steam and the best one is itch.io. Why? Because it's very easy to set up, you can even get money out of it and the process to upload a video game on it, it's so simple and best of all, it's free. Something that we ran into quite a lot at the beginning was how to get my assets into his device so that he can implement them in Unity. Mm -hmm. And we found a really cool solution with this. We use iCloud to upload my assets into a little folder and he can easily download them from there and place them in Unity. But you can also use OneDrive or SharePoint. There are many solutions in this and it's really easy to do it instead of using a stick or God forsake a cable. <laughs> <laughs> or sending it via WhatsApp where it loses resolution. <laughs> or yeah. You sending them through messenger and stuff like this because yeah. we tried all the other ways <laughs> yeah not great <laughs> especially if you find a tool that can't support transparent pictures because that's not easy exactly <laughs> don't find the tools that everybody recommends to you find what suits you best what you also have at your disposal what's in your budget and just get started because most of the time the beginning is the hardest and the intimidation to fail is the biggest hmm. but just give it a try start smaller projects and tackle the smaller challenges because every little project that you start will give you so much knowledge and information that at some point you can create a whole game based on super small things just a note you can use blender for 3d assets <laughs> remember blender <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, we use Blender for all the 3D games in our portfolio. In horror games, we have a shooter game that she played in one of our previous videos. Check it out because it was really funny. <laughs> Shoot him! I am! Shoot him! Please like, share and subscribe if you have any kind of interest in game dev or want to hear more from us. 
and let us know in the comments if there's anything else you would like us to talk about. Bye. Ferb, did you like the video? <laughs> did you? Ferb? I don't think he cares so much about the tools. <laughs> comments. See? Recommends. Is that right? <laughs> Recommends. Recommends. Recommends.